Today, police are hoping the community can help find whoever is behind it. NBC4's Christian Casera is live right now in Pomona with details and the video moments after this fire was set. Christian. Yeah, that's right. Incredible video. But this is a big concern for families, specifically those that live just south of the 10 freeway here in Pomona, because this playground here at Montview Park is such an important part of their lives. This is where people bring their children to play after school and on the weekends. And you can see just the extent of the damage here from that fire. Well, this afternoon, a spokesperson for the city of Pomona tells me this park has been targeted before three times in recent years. Now parents are left wondering why anyone would try to burn it down. I called the, the fire department right away because I didn't want it to come over here, or, you know, affect us or anything, get out of control. Because like I said, we do have, you know, little ones here. Denise Morales lives just next to the playground where she regularly takes her niece and nephew. She captured this video Sunday night as flames engulfed the playground destroying a popular meeting point for young children and their families. No families were there at the time, and according to Pomona police, no one was injured. In the video, you can also see an unidentified man trying to help extinguish the flames. They were pretty high. It was surpassing the, the playground. L.A. County firefighters arrived moments after around 11 Sunday night, too late to save the playground from damage to the rubber flooring and metal poles. Today, the playground is corded off by police tape and neighbors like Ivan Diaz are thinking twice about their family's safety. When you do have little ones, you're as cautious as possible, you know, watching their every little step, you know. Um, so when something like this does happen, uh, of course, you know, you, as a parent, you're going to feel even, or you're going to be even more precautious. And Pomona police tell NBC4 that before Sunday's fire, they had already begun assigning extra patrols to the neighborhood after complaints about the local homeless population. Nowadays, I feel like a lot of people, like, uh, they're hurting and sometimes they want to let out their anger and, you know, unfortunately, you know, sometimes they let, that, they let out their anger and it hurts other people, you know, in the community. And the city of Pomona has offered a $10,000 reward for information leading to an arrest in the case. But the city also tells me they are evaluating the damages to see if the playground can be repaired or if it needs to be completely replaced, if they need, they need to knock it down and just get a new piece here. But that, they say, will cost the city about $350,000. So of course, we will keep you on top of the information as soon as we get it. We are live in Pomona, Christian Casa, NBC4 News.